Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play PS Vita games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So for this video, we're going to be using a new experimental PS Vita emulator called Vita 3K. So this is still currently in development. So have your expectations kind of low for what this can do. It is currently still being updated. So hopefully it can do more in the future. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download this. I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below. What you need to do is come to this website, click on download right here and download the version that best suits you. So what I'm going to be doing is clicking grab this from app fair be brought to this page and then you simply click on that 7-zip link right here and your download will begin. Now for this video we are also going to be needing the PS Vita software which we can grab from the official Sony website. I'll be leaving links in the description down below to this also. All you need to do is come here, come down here and just click agree and download now and you'll start to download a .pop update file that we're going to be using for our emulator a little bit later on. Now just so your expectations are realistic on what games this emulator can play, I'll also be leaving the PS Vita compatibility link in the description down below and and this will give you an idea of what games are currently playable and what state you can actually play these games in. You can see here what games are currently fully playable in the green status and you can click and select this. You can see there's currently four games fully playable and depending on what the games can do you can read a description here and hopefully at the future we'll get to see this playable to be much higher than one percent. So just keep your expectations realistic. This will give you a good idea of what you can do with these games. So once you have everything downloaded, I currently have everything downloaded in this folder. The first thing I'm going to be doing is opening up the Vita 3K application. So this is currently in a .7-zip file, so you will need Runwriter 7-zip to be able to extract these files out. I'll of course be leaving links to these in the description down below as well. What I'm going to be doing is extracting these files here with 7-zip just to extract everything out. And here we'll get a new folder with the Vita 3K.exe. What we need to do is run this file and you'll get this new UI up in front of you. So once we have this done, what we're going to be doing is installing the .pub file that we downloaded from the PlayStation website to install the PS Vita firmware files. To do that, what we're going to be doing is clicking file. We're going to be clicking installing firmware. And here we're going to have to locate to where our firmware files are installed. So in my case, I currently have them on my desktop in my PS Vita folder in here in firmware. And we have the PS Vita.pub file that we downloaded previously. Simply click open and you may get this not responding information message on your screen so you may have to be a little bit patient here don't worry it's actually just doing things in the background and it will take a couple of seconds once your firmware is fully installed you'll get this text on screen you'll have the option to delete the firmware installation file if you've already installed it you won't necessarily need it again however in this case i'm going to be keeping it so i'm not going to be checking this and we can simply click ok and now your firmware file is installed so from this part we're ready to talk about games and this is where things get a little bit tricky for the simulator. So Vita 3K also have a quick start on their website where we can see some information about the hardware requirements, different requirements, installing the firmware and dumping your games. This is all information I'd recommend you checking out depending on what you need. It'll give you some more information about the game formats and types. And I'll also tell you how to dump your official games. So if you actually have a PS Vita here, you can come and get some more information. I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below. So our games can come in a couple different formats. If we come back to our emulator right here, we can go to file and here we can see we can install a .pkg file or we can install a .zip or a .vpk. Now, PKG files are typically game files, and you can find these pretty easily if you search for downloadable PKG files. These can also be applications on the PS Vita and a couple of other things like that. And then we also have .zip and .vpk files. Now, these game files are typically decrypted game files, and .zip files can be loaded directly into your Switch, and you can really easily zip and create your own .zip files for this, and I'll be showing you that in a second. And VPK files are already compressed into one VPK file that you can really easily install from here. In this case, you just have to select a VPK file. Again, this has to be a decrypted file, although it's the exact same process as a zip for installing games. So the game I have right now is Persona 4, and what I have is all the information and game files here, the data, the SCE module, SCE PFB, and the boot.bin. And what I've done is simply created a zip file by selecting all of these files, right clicking and then sending to a zip file, which I have right here that I'm gonna be installing in Vita 3K. To install this file, what we need to do is go to file, install.zip, locate to where your file.zip is, which is right here for me, click open, 
and then it'll take a couple of seconds for this to install depending on the size of your game. Again, you may see the not responding on screen and this can take a couple of seconds to do this. So I will mention in today's video, I'm not gonna be showing you how to download games, although games are still relatively easy to find. A quick Google search or a search on Reddit will help you out with this. It's a relatively easy process overall. So just a quick Google search and a little bit of Google sniffing and you should be able to find what you're looking for. Once your game is actually installed, you will get this success screen. And again, we will have the option to delete the archive we just created. In this case, I'm gonna be leaving it by default. I'm simply gonna be clicking okay. And then your game is gonna be added here. In this case, the title ID will be whatever your title ID is from your game file. So you don't have to worry about that. You can see the actual title is Persona 4 Golden. So here you can see all the information and version and category. So some of the settings we can play around with can be found under the configuration option right here. And we can open up the settings. Here we can see different information about the core, GPU, system, emulator, GUI, and debug. In this case, most of these with the core and GPU, I wouldn't recommend experimenting with unless you really know what you're doing. In terms of system, what we can do is change the console language, and we can also change what the enter button is, either circle or cross. Circle is more used in Asia and Japan, I believe, and cross is more used everywhere else. So here you can enter and change that if you would like. And everything else I'd recommend leaving by default, but if you really know what you're doing, you can feel free to come in here and experiment. If you would like to remap controls you can come in here to keyboard controls and here you can see all different information about settings that you can remap and you can see you can remap everything from your keyboard right here so you can see just like that we can set up all the basic information for our ps vita emulator now to run this game all you need to do is double click from this point you'll get this pop-up all we need to do is click start and then your game will start to play you'll see your console in the background give a lot of different information and here you'll be able to see errors and different missing files so if you have any issues i'd recommend going to some forums you can copy this system file take a screenshot we can also see all different information on top the frame rate the frame speed and here we can see that it's actually working on screen right now you can see the frame rate is a little bit stuttery at places however this is just a cutscene, so once we get past this everything should be a little bit better we can see that some parts actually run really well and if I start and begin my adventure, it actually works surprisingly good for what you would expect. And of course, then you can also install some other homebrew different games that people made as well. So you can find anything online and these will most likely come in .pkg files as well. And as long as you keep your kind of expectations realistic, it should be fine. Of course, again, I'll be leaving links to all the donation things in the description down below. If you want to support this project for Vita 3K and you want to push it forward, if you can donate, it'll probably help it go a little bit quicker. So you can find everything in the description down below. And just like that, you're able to play PS Vita games on your PC. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play PS Vita games on your PC. PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching until next time as always. Keep it saucy. Peace.